what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to learn how to put together and present a tab bar controller setup basically what you see here fully programmatically so no storyboard no uh, connections in there all through code we're going to learn how to put a title bar in here with a navigation controller how to configure each of the tab bar items and of course, most importantly, how to set up each of these to be hooked up to a different view controller. Uh, and you can see the difference here with the colors and all of it, once again, through code. So that said, if you're excited and pumped, make sure you destroy that like button down below. As always, hit subscribe while you're at it. If you're new and you've been following the channel, get Xcode ready, get excited, and let's dig in. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're going to get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. And we're going to stick with a single view application. I'm going to go ahead and call this project tab application in code. And let's see, we can make sure this is Swift and Storyboard. Go ahead and hit enter twice to create and save the project. And first things first, after Xcode decides to load here, we're gonna pick a simulator. So let me move this down a little bit so we can see a little better. But we're gonna go ahead and pick a simulator here to run in. We're gonna pick the 11 Pro Max and hit this run button over here. That way it'll be good to go as we start building. So here's our app loaded up. And next thing, we're gonna jump into our view controller that this template gives us. And we're gonna start talking about how to create a tab bar uh, setup, tab bar view controller with the tabs and all that good stuff fully in code. So you might have an app where let's say you have like a login screen and once the user successfully logs in, you wanna push the user to a tab bar controller. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is for now, instead of setting up like a login screen, we're just gonna add a button to the screen and that button is essentially going to, uh, on a tap, take us to the tab bar controller. So let's start by setting a background color to this view. We're gonna make it a system blue color. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a button on here, like I mentioned. So a button is gonna be a UI button. And let's see, we're gonna create it in here in this anonymous closure pattern and we're gonna return button, and we're gonna say button sets title is going to be, uh, let's just call it login, just to stick with our example. The state will be normal. The button's background color, we're gonna stick with a white, and the button's uh, title color, we're gonna stick with a black so we can see it. Again, the state will be normal. Now we wanna add this as a sub view. So we're gonna add the sub view, and let's see, we want this to be centered. So go ahead and override view did layout sub views in which we can set the frame for the button. And we can say uh, its center is view.centered. And up here where we created the button, let's actually give it a frame in here with a CG rect. Uh, zero, zero, 200, and let's say, let's call this 52. We can actually close this right panel since we don't need it. Go ahead and hit Command R and you should see your screen is blue now with this button in the middle. Obviously tapping it, nothing happens. So let's go ahead and add an action to our button by saying button, uh, add target, self. The action is gonna be a selector and the function name will be did tap button. And the state will be touch up inside. And let's go ahead and create this button function down here. So func did tap button. You need to annotate it, Objective-C, so the selector can reference it. And in here, we're going to present, well, before we present it, we're going to create and present tab bar controller. Cool. So how do we create a tab bar controller? Well, it's super simple. So we're gonna say tab bar VC is a UI tab 
var controller. If you open up the parentheses, you can see that there are three versions in here. So we can actually uh, just use the standard one without any parameters. And what we want to go ahead and do is on a tab bar controller, we want to set the view controllers. So if we look, if we just type in set, you'll see the very first one here is set view controllers. Now, the reason we set view controllers is every tab is connected to one view controller and every view controller is responsible for setting up their title and their tab bar item and all that good stuff. So essentially here we want to pass an array of view controllers. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create five view controller classes down here. So let me just make this an empty array. Uh, we can also make this animated false. We don't want to animate setting of those tabs, but we're going to create five view controllers down here that we're going to use for our tab bar controller. So we're going to say uh, class second view controller. Make sure it inherits UI view controller. And we're going to override the view did load in each of them. And we're going to set a background color so we can actually see the difference. So we'll say the first one is a, a red color. And go ahead and copy and paste this uh, four more times. So two, three, uh, it's four of them. And we want one more. So four. Let's go ahead and change the name for each of these. Uh, third, we actually want this to be first, since we don't really have a first. So we'll say first, second. This one will make third. This one will be fourth. And this one will be fifth. Go ahead and change the color for each of these so we can distinguish them on the screen. So we'll go with green, uh, purple. Uh, I think there's a light gray in here. That works. And then that one is red. And then now in here, we can pass an array of these. So I'm going to go and create them up here. We'll say VC1 is first view controller, first view controller. VC2 is second view controller, VC3, third view controller. And the reason we're creating them as constants instead of passing them directly in here is we're going to learn how to wrap them in a navigation controller in just a moment. But I want to show the base example first. This is going to be fourth view controller. Should be fourth view controller. Let's see why it's not popping up. Let's see, we got a first, second, third, and we should be able to create this one. That autocomplete isn't deciding to cooperate. There we go. Sometimes autocomplete really doesn't want to be your friend. And the next one is going to be VC5, which is going to be fifth view controller. And then in the array that we pass in here, we can say VC1, VC2, VC3, and notice the order in here matters. The tabs are going to show up in the order that you have set these controllers. So if we go ahead and hit Command B now, let's see, it looks like we have an error here already. So let's see what's going on. It says use of unresolved identifier V4. This should be VC. And hit Command B and everything should be building now. So now all we need to do on this tab bar controller is go ahead and present it. So we're going to say present tab bar VC animated true. And by default in iOS 13 and upwards, whenever you present a controller, it presents as a card where the user can swipe it down and dismiss it. But we don't want that, that to actually happen. So on the tab bar VC, we're going to go ahead and say uh, modal presentation style. And we want the presentation style to be full screen. So we're going to go ahead and assign it to full screen. So now go ahead and hit command R. And let's hit that button. Let's see what happens. So if we hit this, we notice this other thing pops up. And we've got uh, five tabs down here, but we actually don't see the tabs. Notice when you tap on where it should appear, we're actually changing it, the actual controller. So if you recall the colors, the first one is red. Next one's light gray. This one's purple, green, and the last one is orange. So we definitely have our tab bar controller with our five view controllers in it. But where is our, our uh, actual tabs? So like I mentioned, the tab bar item is a responsibility of the actual uh, view controller. So in each of these controllers, let's say we wanted to have a title. The first thing I'm going to set in each of these is a title. 
So we're going to say title and this one is home. Title and this one is, let's say, contact. This one can be uh, help. Let's say this one is about. And finally, this one will say is settings. Now go ahead and hit Command R one more time and hit that button. And now what you should see is there are titles down here for each of these. But you notice that the title only shows up after you have selected it. So that's not really helpful, right? So if you run the app again, if I close this and rerun it, notice only the first tab's title shows up and the other ones show up when you select it. The reason that's happening is because the view did load for that given view controller isn't called until you select the tab for the first time. So the way we would so solve this is we would basically set them here. So we'd say vc1.title is home. And let me go ahead and copy and paste this actually down below to make life easy. So we have vc1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And what did we say? Home, contact, help, and about. Home. Let's go ahead and copy and paste that quote. Home, contact, help. It's one of the settings, I think. And this one is about. And if you go ahead and run it now, when you present it, notice you have the titles from the very start, which is looking much better. Now, what about the title at the top? So when you want a title at the top, you need to wrap every single one of your tab bar root controllers, which is each of these, in a navigation controller. So what that looks like is this. Instead of creating the controller directly, you create a navigation controller and you pass your target controller as the root. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this before each of these. So one there, 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 and there. And let's put that one ending parenthesis at the end of each of these, whoops. So one here and here, go ahead and run it now. And you'll notice you have a title at the top of each of these as well when you present it. And it takes a title that we're setting for the tab. So looking at much better now, like a real app. And some of you might be wondering, well, how do you set the tab bar item? And now if you wanted to set the image for each of these tab bars, you can do that as well fully through code and the way you would do it is as follows. So here where you're actually creating the tab bar controller, you can actually set it here pretty easily. So the first thing you want to do is get all of the items for the tab bar so we can loop over them and do this in a quicker way. So we're going to say guard let items uh, equals tab bar VC. You want to get the tab bar off of it and its items and it's optional, so we want to guard let it to unwrap it. Then we can loop over it, so we can say for item and items, we can say item dot image, and let's just give them all the same image to start off with. We'll go ahead and call it the house image. So if you go ahead and run, and if we tap this again, you can see that each of the tabs has a image now of uh, the house icon. Now, obviously, what if we wanted different images? So we would go ahead and make this an array. And I would say uh, this is images and pass an X. And this would be for X in zero up until items dot count. And this would be items X. And let's go ahead and create an array of images up here or image names rather. So we're gonna have house. Uh, we will do bell. I'm just going to do a bunch of the random ones that I know off the top of my head. We're going to do person dot circle. I think gear is one of the ones that's available. And let's go ahead and do star. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure is true is the number of uh, image names in here should match the number of controllers that you're putting into the tab bar. So go ahead and run this now and you'll see that every single tab bar image is actually different per what we had in our array that we're using in the for loop. So there you have it. That's how you can create a tab bar view controller setup fully programmatically. You can hook up every single root controller with a navigation controller, which brings in the title bar. Uh, you can set up the actual tab bar item. And of course you can further customize all of this as well. So for example, every single tab bar item also has a tint color. So if you went ahead, 
let's see, there should be tint colors off of here. There's image value, badge color actually is I think what I'm looking for. But let's see, let's go ahead and let's do badge value. And the value of this is actually going to be a string. So let's just say like one. You'll see that every tab bar now should have a badge if I'm not mistaken, uh, which in fact they do, which is this little uh, badge with a number. So you can set up and customize everything basically in code pretty straightforward. You don't need to hook up any storyboard, any of that other uh, nib based approach. And yeah, there you have it. Uh, if you haven't destroyed the like button already, make sure to do so. Helps out quite a bit. Hit subscribe if you haven't done that as well. Comment down below with any questions, errors, any suggestions, feedback. Love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.